All right, if, um, if Sock Puppet Theatre happens, then please just remind me that I need to move my alerts, Thingly Bob, to a higher level. Um, let's get back into it. So we're playing Dirge of Service. <gasps> oh, well. <laughs> Speak of. Speaking of the devil, let's come along to... I don't know if I can make the music stop in the game. Sock Puppet Theatre. I've added a little um, little sound effect for that. I hope you liked it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, we come to... Where the fuck is it? Puppet Theatre. Hey, hey, here we go. Uh, I need to move my... What's it things? The... where is it? Oh my god. This keyboard is a nightmare. So this is my secondary keyboard. Um, which is like a Wi-Fi thing. Get up there. Oh my god. Well, let's just hope no alerts have to go off because... It's too complicated to move things. So, welcome everybody like, to another instalment of... Uh, Sock Puppet Theatre. Oh, Vincent's hair fell off. Hang on. Oh, no, it's just too far away. Okay, well, we've got some new props. So here's Vincent, if you haven't seen him before. This is Vincent Sock. Yes, um, you can hear the dulcet tones of my recorder playing. You may also be able to hear the um, game still in the background, for which I apologise. Uh, so... All I had to hand were these red buttons, and I thought, uh oh, well I better put some googly eyes on that because nobody likes a red-eyed puppet. Well, maybe they do. Maybe everybody loves uh, red eyes on a puppet. Um, and then I realised that Vincent actually has red eyes, so I kind of used it to my advantage and... Um, very difficult. I didn't really think about it in advance, but it's quite difficult to actually dress the puppets, particularly once you already have one of the puppets on. So it just kind of involves draping a lot of things on and hoping that people remember what they looked like when they were originally dressed, when things inevitably fall off. Um, so here's a bit more hair. He did only have two ribbons before, but he's upgraded. He's got a bit more hair now. And then we've got this little headband, which I can put on top like this. This always falls off, so just to prepare you for that inevitability. And then he's got this cape. So this is him normally, but at the moment he's turned into chaos. So then it kind of becomes a bit more flappy. You love a red-eyed puppet? Well, then this is the perfect puppet for you. Uh, the other puppet. Where's the other puppet? Uh oh. Oh, here. Okay. I already got prepared. More prepared than I expected to be. Uh, here we go. The other puppet is often less well dressed because. Um, well, just it's a lot harder to get him dressed once Vincent is ready and raring to go. So I'm going to call this um, Omega Weapon. And he's going to... He's born from the planet, so he's just going to... To represent that, he's just going to have a little flower on his head. Okay? So, here we go. Alright, here's a quick summary of... Um... Hey, Joe! No, 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 you haven't missed it yet. This is this is ongoing. All right, so here's uh, a summary of the plot of Dirge of Cerberus. If only a mega weapon, this is me, and Vincent, it's me, were to exist. Um, bear in mind, I don't really know what the storyline of this game is, even though I've been playing it for five days now. Um, Watching a laptop like a child. Well, um, perfect. Um, if you if you had Punch and Judy 
in your life as a child and this explains a lot of why <laughs> you would find this <laughs> entertaining or normal. Okay, uh, so. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm Vincent. Oh yeah, I have a very, um, very dramatic deep voice. Ooh, I like it. Um, I, my name's Omega. I was made by the planet. Ooh, yes. Made by the planet and I uh, protect the planet and then if I think things have gone really tits up then I destroy the planet? Why? Well, you know, if everything's fucked anyway, might as well just like fuck it all up completely and go into space because space is really cool. Haven't you seen Portal 2? Oh yeah, that dude was pretty into space. Well, okay, so the planet made me and uh, I have a buddy called Chaos. Hmm, Chaos you say? Well, um, funny you should mention him. Funny you should mention him. Yes. I am Chaos. Look at my flappy wings. See? Flap, 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 flap. Oh, well legend has it that you and I go off into space together and you are the one who destroys the world when it is time. Well, this chick I was really into uh, called Lucrezia, um, she put something, put something, in, I keep feeling his voice, put something inside of my heart and um, it made me kind of not want to destroy the world so um, I guess we are going to have to fight. Mm, that doesn't sound like fun. But I am really giant. So bring it on. Mm. Well, I guess I have to save the world and not destroy it, probably. Uh, and I think that's where we've got to, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for redeeming that. And, um, oh god, I hope it was everything you could have wanted. Uh, for when uh -huh. we've stopped... Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you, Tracker, for the sub. Oh yeah, look, uh, that's the alert issue I was talking about. Uh, that was Tracker. Tracker underscore underscore everybody subscribing at tier one thank you very much and look so eventually one of them is going to have this hat on briefly probably because it'll probably fall off almost immediately let's see if i can fix this issue though uh, let's move the alert up ah oh, keyboard please move uh, how do i do this how do i do this uh, transform? No. I just want to move it to the top without having to drag it. Oh my god. Well, I can't. I'll, I'll have to do this when my, my real mouse is plugged back in. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you for the redeem. Fully worth the um, subscription fee, I hope. Um, I really ought to get some sort of sock as one of my emotes but um, it hasn't happened yet so um, please enjoy actually the kinky kinky emote is uh, that's a sock that's a real sock I have a sock I wear sometimes loved it it's lovely meeting well thank you um, I'm glad you're enjoying the madness now let's come back to uh, this delightful wonderful specimen of a game in which I've turned, well, as you know now from the incredibly informative puppet show you've just watched, um, Vincent has turned into Chaos, who's like this flappy flying beast 
with a heart of gold, apparently, now that Lucrezia has given him a heart of gold. And I don't know, I'm in I can fly, as I said, but I've decided to just run around in the dark and shoot randomly at whatever's shooting at me, which I can't see, despite having turned the brightness up to like 75% on my TV. Uh, what? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, oh no, I'm not stuck. I'm. I had my hand on the wrong keys. <laughs> so, yeah, I realised yesterday that my style of playing a game is like your most technologically inept elderly relative using a smartphone for the first time ever. Best theatre ever, thank you. Yeah, all socks are kinky if you put eyes on them in the right place and give them a tiny whip. Um, and there's no kink shaming here, so bring out your kinkiest little socks. Uh, 